హలో టుడే స్టోరీ ఇస్ అబౌట్ ఏ వైట్ లై దట్ హాస్ చేంజ్ ద డెస్టినీ ఆఫ్ ఏ మ్యాన్ ఎస్ యు హర్డ్ ఇట్ రైట్ ఇట్స్ అబౌట్ ఏ బిగ్ లై లైంగ్ ఈస్ డిసీవింగ్ it conveys something false to others we all know that lying is a negative and undesirable act but still people lie people may lie for different reasons mostly it's an attempt to avoid pain we are afraid to face the reality that might bring more pain in our life or in others life and so we prefer to hide the truth lying involves minimum two parties the deceiver and the deceived but it is not necessary that all lies are negative in nature there is something called positive lies or altruistic lies this simply means lying is done by someone for a good purpose a doctor telling a lie to a patient who is being shifted to the operation theater with an intention to keep the patient in good mood is an altruistic lie many a times we tell such harmless lies to our children spouse parents or even friends just because we don't want to see them upset or hurt now this discussion leads to another way of classifying lies into two categories based on the motive behind it pro social lies and anti social lies pro social lies are ones fabricated with an intention to benefit others whereas anti social lies are constructed for one's own benefit and so they are selfish in nature there is another way of categorizing two by associating different colors with the type of lies that way there are four major categories of lies red lies black lies gray lies and white lies there are blue lies and yellow lies too but they are a bit out of context to our story line so i am keeping them away this metric simplifies the motive behind these four categories of lies black lies are pure selfishness the motive is either to get away self out of a difficult situation or to gain something that we want to achieve though it could turn harmful to others so this is considered the worst type of lies red lies are made with the motive to harm others even if it is going to harm ourselves this is a result of acute hatred because of our wild animosity to someone we do it as an act of revenge and to see others in trauma we don't mind facing some trouble for ourselves gray lies appear to be fabricated to help others but they could also help ourselves as there are many shades of gray gray lies too has a wide spectrum based on the amount of benefit and harm it provides to us and others white lies are altruistic in nature our sole intention of lying is to help others even though we may have to pay a price for that that's why these lies are considered positive now let me share with you a real life story that could probably bring clarity in this regard this incident happened in 1854 in michigan in the us a 7 year old boy returned home a bit early from his school he came running all the way from his village school panting heavily he searched his mother he held a sealed envelope in his hand like a precious gift and he was so much excited he was a seventh child of a carpenter his family had moved to michigan very recently and the boy was enrolled into the village school only 3 months back it was just a one room school with other 38 students of different ages struggling to breathe he showed the envelope to his mother and said mom the teacher told me to give it to you his mother took the envelope from him unsealed it and read it herself 
the boy was so curious to know the content of the letter so he watched the mother reading it suddenly he found the expression of her face changing soon her eyes welled up and the tears started rolling down her cheeks now the boy got more curious though he smelled some trouble he asked her why she was crying and if there there is something wrong with the letter she denied shaking her head in negation she then wiped her tears and hugged him kissing him repeatedly over his cheeks she said my son you made your mother so proud today i'm so much happy reading this that i can't control my tears the boy could not understand what is that big thing he had done in the school for the teachers to send a letter of appreciation to his mother he was very curious in school wanted to know more things and therefore he used to ask so many questions to the teacher do you want to hear what your teacher wrote about you his mother asked him he nodded his head his mother opened the paper again and read it loudly your son is a genius and this school is too small for him and the teachers are not good enough to teach him please teach him you yourself the boy was a bit puzzled but his mother told him that the village school is too small with less talented teachers and therefore she would teach him better at home so his mother became his teacher from next day but she could teach him only basic things how to read and write his father encouraged him to read books by himself to learn things so he started going to the local library at the age of 11 he discovered his passion in science all these years his teacher's words went echoing in his brain almost every day that he was a genius but the boy's life became harder day by day at the age of 12 he turned completely deaf in one ear and developed a hearing problem in the other ear too but that didn't discourage him he believed his teacher's words and so he thought his deafness was a blessing he was no more distracted by external noise when he was reading when he was 13 He started selling candy, newspapers and vegetables on the trains to earn some money. Most money he earned went to buying books and items required for his science experiments. He also sold newspapers on the streets at the age of 19. With all his struggles, self-education and science experiments, finally he went on to become one of the greatest inventors in history. with more than 1000 inventions in his name and thereby he proved that his teacher was right in judging him as a genius in his very young age this genius was none other than thomas alva edison whose famous inventions include light bulb gramophone phonograph and motion picture camera after several years his mother passed away one day he was looking through his mother's closet and he happened to find that same old envelope the letter that his teacher had written to his mother in a flash the entire incident passed through his mind the little edison on reaching home passing on the paper to his mother his mother's eyes welling up with happiness and then she is hugging him and reading the content of the letter aloud to him those words were by her to him even now your son is a genius and this school is too small for him and the teachers are not good enough to teach him please teach him you yourself he took the letter in his hand and opened it to read it himself again but he could not believe his eyes the content of the letter was very different it read your son is mentally deficient 
we cannot accept him at our school any longer. So we expelled him. Teach him yourself. Thomas Edison became very emotional reading the letter. That was a point of realization that it was not the words of his teacher that had made him a genius, but the wisest act of his mother concealing the truth and sharing him a positive version of it, a white lie, is what changed his life. That night, Thomas Edison wrote in his diary, Thomas A. Edison was a mentally deficient child whose mother turned him into a genius. This incident shows how positive words encrypted in one's brain in childhood could change one's destiny. Wisely picked up words in the form of a white lie sometimes can become beneficial to others. Hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.